How do baseball players remain such good friends? They touch base every once in a while. It's jaw time with Mr. Mayberry. Time to draw. Well, hello and welcome back to Draw Time with Mr. Mayberry. This is day number five of Baseball Week, our final day, and today I'm going to be showing you how to draw a base and also home plate. So let's get started. It's time to draw. Okay, first we're going to start by drawing a base. And <clears throat> to make that base, I'm going to use a parallelogram for the top. So I've got lines lining up to the right, and then this one's going to slant down to the left. All right, you might have to work with your edges to get them all straight. But the idea is that these two should be face, going the same direction at the same angle and the same width apart. And these two should be going the same direction, same angle width and same width apart. Now, uh, I want to make these corners round, more round instead of having them uh, to be pointed or sharp. I want to make them all rounded. Okay, then we're going to draw uh, four vertical lines. Actually, they, the outside ones kind of slant in a little bit. And then we're going to draw a line that's parallel with this angle. It comes down here and it's going to make a curve and then it's going to be parallel with the other angle. And then we can draw a line straight down from this corner here. So this is a base, like first base or second or, or third that you would have in baseball. Now when you get to home, you have what's called a plate. And it has a different shape. Instead of having a, the square type base, this is just at a 3D angle, um, you have a pentagon. And so I'm going to start off with two lines that go out at an angle and then from there I'm going to make the sides of the the base the Pentagon they're going to slant back just a little bit because this is going away from us they slant towards the middle and then I'm going to have a horizontal line that goes straight across the top here now to make this look even more 3D a lot of the bases they're built up so I'm going to make this look like it's built up so I'm going to make lines that slant in on these corners and I'll make a second line. So this is a raised surface that goes around the edge. Now when it gets to the far side here, um, it's, it's more narrow on this the top end here because this is farther away from us and the angle that you have of this the edge here is actually slanting down so you don't see as much of it. It looks smaller. And then I'm going to shade those these sides in. And these are our drawings for today. A baseball base and home plate. Well, now that we know how to draw a base and home plate, let's take some time and see how we can add that to our big picture. Okay, let's take one last look at the big picture. This week I set up a still life, took a photograph of it, and these are objects that had to do with baseball. And then after showing you how to draw each day, then I've added um, the object for that day into the arrangement and tried to place it in the same manner that the original was in the photograph. And so today what I added was the home plate. And I decided to use a home plate in the still life because I felt like it was more interesting than the base that I had. So that's why I included it in the, in the still life. So what I did after that, drawing it on here, then I've added the color for the rest of the grass. And so that completes the still life. And again, I encourage you to set up a still life of your own. It doesn't have to be about baseball. It could be some other sport or activity that you enjoy. And 
I hope that you've uh, enjoyed watching and, and participating in drawing these different objects this week. So that's our big picture for this week. Well, that's all for today. Thank you for taking time to draw with me this week. I hope you'll come back next week when we start a new summertime theme. And remember, if you want to be a good artist, do a little drawing every day. Summer, 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 summer. Oh yeah, that's a keeper.